All right, so we are arriving to our next property, which is a bi weekly for now. And then uh, the end of this month, it becomes a weekly. So let me put my face covering, good to go. My headphones. And grab my gloves. you go all right so let me show you guys real quick this is a just a mixture it's mainly centipede but you know it has a little bit of everything in it so they're trying to take care of it now um, so I'm mowing it right now at three and a half inches and uh, man we're still going through this uh, this drought so we're just taking a little bit off the top just to kind of you know make things look real neat you know so let me unlock my equipment defender rack and grab the edger <coughs> and my BLI 200 battery let me tell you guys something with the uh, this trimmer right here with Edger. Well, they're both 325 IOKs, you know, with the different attachment. But this thing is about seven to eight pounds, and then the battery adds another two pounds to you know. So it's pretty light, light equipment. So on this occasion, we're gonna go ahead and. Uh, edge it first and again sometimes I'm going to edge and then on this occasion I'm going to go ahead and uh, edge first you see the grass yeah it's dry man so now when it comes to this glass door guys you know you have to kind of edge away okay so the edger is shooting towards me always remember that now funny thing is uh, when I first picked up this property the lady told me that um, a previous uh, lung care provider busted her window or her door glass and uh, disappeared <laughs> that joker just disappeared can you believe that man that's why guys make sure that you have your insurance there's some guad there. And I know what you're doing. Alright, so you see the people across the street? <laughs> they're, they're looking at me like I'm crazy, right? Because I have this GoPro and I'm filming what I'm doing. I can't believe this day and age you still have people look at you like, why is he filming? They don't understand that this is a business and people like to learn about this stuff. You know, and I, you know, I, I know how it is. You know, they look at us and say, you know, yeah, he's just a guy cutting grass. But it's all right. Let them think what they want to, right? Good. So today is like 90 degrees. And it's hot. So, finishing up edging. And I'm going to mow now. But let me lock this up. <clears throat> And this is a mow and go system, guys. For you guys that are interested, just Google mow and go system. Or I'll probably put a link in the video description to uh, to the system. Pretty easy system. All you have to do is loosen it up in the bottom and take it right off. Put your tailgate. And you're good to go. So I'm using Vantage. Xmark Vantage 48. And this is my little go-to mower, man. I'm 
and let's put this at three point uh, three point five zero one. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, I think that's the right, right height. <clears throat> that should be good. Let me do one pass. And then I'll show you guys what it looks like. And the only thing I do here is mow, so I don't know. Um, I, I trim the shrubs uh, on a monthly basis. But when it comes to the uh, fertilizer and the um, everything else, let me see. Let me show you guys what it looks like real quick. Here you go. Check that out. Nice. Remember, guys, when uh, when you're going through stress, um, as far as because of you know the watering or whatever the case might be, it hasn't rained here in, in a while, and a little bit of rain that we've gotten hasn't been that much. Just you know, take a little bit off the top. You know, don't 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 start bringing it down, because what you're going to do is just stress the uh, the turf to the point where the customer is going to be like, hey, listen. Don't come back until I call you. <laughs> and that's not what you want, right? And there, guys, whoever put in this irrigation system, I'm telling you. <laughs> I had to re-dig re some of the heads and kind of bring them down. They just, they just made a mess. But oh well. It is what it is, right? Not complaining here. And I usually just run over the moss. I don't know you've seen it, but now it's gone. And now we're going to go on the other side. <clears throat> Usually when I have properties like these, I like to uh, keep them with the same height as the neighbor. You know, to kind of keep them looking good. Unless the customer tells me to, you know, mow it lower. So I get a lot of comments on my videos saying that the, the turf doesn't need cutting. Guys, you have to realize for those who you know put comments like that is that you're viewing the turf from the uh, from the top. Okay, <laughs> you're not gonna see what needs to be cut. All right, so the back is real bad, but um, I usually cut the back at two inches. So I'm gonna put it down to probably two. Point five, just to trim the little bit of hairs off the top and make it look neat. We're not trying to take it down to the point where we're stressing it, the, 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 the blades of grass. And that little chirping is, um, I need to grease my uh, platform, but I'll take care of that later on though.
Now, I know what you're probably saying. My equipment is unsecure. I got it, guys. Don't worry. I got it. Hey, let me talk to you guys about um, tracking devices, you know. If, you know. I've seen a lot of videos on the internet about people stealing trailers and the equipment. Guys, you, know, you need to take the initiative, man. Only about $100 a year, you can have a uh, tracking system on your rig. Because don't forget, somebody take your rig. Um, you know, it's going to be hard to try to get that back. At least you can track it. And you have a better better chance of uh, getting your rig back. Having a tracking device. You don't have one. You're out of luck, right? So, again, link is in the description. Check them out. Track them. All right, we're done. Pull this back up. And now we're going to trim. Well, again, there just isn't too much to trim because, again, it's growing kind of slow because of the weather. Hopefully, we get some rain here pretty soon. That's what I'm looking forward to. Some doggone rain. I know some of you guys are probably getting rain, too, too much rain. That was us last year. Last year, we was getting rain all day, every day. This year is the complete opposite. Now I try to redo this for the customer, but she, you know, she was like, no, that's why I'm, I got it. She had, her, uh, she had her grandson do this. So, oh well. And here, I also ask her, you know, hey, you want me to clean that up? Put some mold, make a border. And again, she says, nah, that's okay. So I let it be, right? You can't, you can't win them all. Just gotta make it look as, as nice as possible.
You gotta be real careful about the around the AC because you know it's a older AC system. As you guys can see, I'm not using the full power of the, uh, the trimmer, right? So a lot of times you don't need to have that trimmer on full blast. Nice and clean. And now we're going to do the final blowing with the BR600. Oops, got to open this up.
<clears throat> on to the next hold on let me show you guys real quick the end result there you go all right guys like and subscribe see you on the next one pop smoke Peace.